Are you looking for a rugged iPhone MagSafe case that can really protect your phone from those unexpected drops? Yes! Well, if that's the case, then you're in the right place, since this time I'm going over six rugged iPhone MagSafe cases to see which are the most protective. And if you're interested in finding out, yes! then stick around for this whole review and comparison. Hey everyone, welcome back to Tech Up. If you're in the market to pick up a protective iPhone case that not only looks and feels rugged to the touch, but can really deliver on protecting your iPhone, then I have a series of cases that may be on your radar to pick up. In this review, I'll be going over the design and features of all of them, as well as the buttons, grip, and fit. I'll also talk about the overall protection of them and go over the durability of these cases and test out the MagSafe on all of them with several MagSafe accessories. And by the end, I'll tell you how strong the MagSafe is for each case with my Gauss meter. Then I'll conclude with what I think about each of them and hopefully give you an idea on which one you'd want to get. I'll be testing these cases out on my iPhone 13 Pro Max, but I'm certain some, if not most, of these cases will be available for the new iPhone models as well as some older iPhones. And I will list all the models it fits in throughout this review. By the way, just like my previous iPhone case videos, this is an honest unpaid review and none of these case brands have reached out to me. But the folks at Momax have with their QMag Power, which is a sleek and solid 5000 milliamp wireless magnetic power bank that's great for pretty much any of the new iPhones with MagSafe. It features up to 15 watts of wireless charging and offers a pretty cool transparent tempered glass design that shows the interior components of the power bank. Nice. Furthermore, it comes with a nice adjustable stand on the back of it that can be configured in a couple of ways. On top of that, it also has the ability to charge two devices simultaneously, such as your iPhone and a pair of AirPods at the same time. There are also other models if you're interested, and if you are, feel free to click the link in the video description below and apply the discount code that I provided as well. By the way, in the video, I'll be testing it out on all these cases to give you an idea to see if it's worth picking up. Anyways, back to the review. So I'll first be going over the design and features of each of these cases, and when going over them side by side, they all pack a different rugged design as well as features. The first case on the list that I'll be going over is the Rockform Rugged case for the iPhone 13 Pro Max, which is available for all iPhone 13 and 12 models, and is a unique case that features a scratch-resistant carbon fiber look-alike texture on a thick plastic silicone case, and a triple magnet design that offers two individual powerful magnets and one ring magnet for MagSafe compatibility. On top of that, the main center magnet near the Apple logo can be swapped with various magnetic mounts thanks to Rockform's Rock Lock Twist Lock system. Furthermore, the buttons on this case are personally my favorite type of buttons. They are flush with the case and big, as well as easy to press with a nice subtle clicky sound. However, I wish the markings for all the buttons, like the plus and minus symbols, protruded out a little bit more. Besides that, the case itself is slightly thick with a lanyard attachment and offers different designed corners unlike the other cases. The cutout for the port is nice, and the cutouts for the speakers as well as the ring and silent switch offer the best and biggest openings compared to the rest of the cases. As for the Ghost Tech Atomic Slim case, which is available for all iPhone 13 and 12 models, it comes in several plain and unique color options. It's a case that features an aluminum alloy frame with anti-slip hand grips on both sides of the case, which I'll go over in more detail when I talk about the grip and fit later. More importantly, this whole case offers multi-layer protection with its aluminum bumper and crystal clear back that features a built-in magnetic ring. This clear back is definitely a fingerprint attraction and may not be for some people, with it leaving fingerprints all over it. As for the buttons on it, they are reactive buttons like the last case, but these stick out unlike the Rockform's buttons, and they offer a good clicky sound when pressed. Lastly, the cutouts on this case were great and I had no complaints, but they were slightly smaller than Rockform's rugged case's cutouts. Coming in after the Ghost Tech Atomic Slim, it's a top-notch brand for protective cases, and it's the OtterBox Defender XT. This case is available for most iPhone 13 and 12 models and primarily comes in multiple color options. It's a dual-layered case, 
meaning it needs to be assembled properly when putting your iPhone into it. The lid frame will need to be removed and the iPhone will need to be placed into the main part of the case. Then the lid will need to be placed back onto the case for full lid protection. Instructions are provided and when going through this process, it makes you already feel like the iPhone will be well protected. However, it can be a little annoying putting it on and taking it off, but it will certainly offer full protection that's needed with the polycarbonate shell and lid frame that's on it. Furthermore, it will come with MagSafe compatibility and it features a lanyard attachment as well. As for the buttons on this case, they are the hardest buttons to press out of all these cases. They will require more effort to press than the rest. Now the cutouts are good at the bottom of the case for the speakers, but the cutout for the ring and silent switch may not be easy for everyone to access. You'll definitely need to dig into it to adjust the switch. As for the port, it's got a protective cover over it for that extra protection from any debris that you may encounter from getting into it. As for the fourth case I'll be presenting, it's the Subcase Unicorn Beetle Pro Mag. It's only available for the iPhone 13 Pro Max and it comes in three color options. It's also a dual layered case, so you'll need to remove the lid frame like on the OtterBox, but this case includes a screen protector already part of this frame. It's nice that it comes with that included, but the downside is if it gets damaged or cracks, then you won't be able to easily replace it. The whole case will need to be replaced as the screen protector is part of it. I didn't see any screen protector frame replacements at the time of this review, but you can get a belt clip replacement, which does come with this case when you purchase it. It's very nice and sturdy and the clip can be rotated. It's definitely a great combo for those that need a rugged case that they can easily clip in place on the side near the waist. As for the rest of the features, it has a soft plastic material around it and a hard polycarbonate gunmetal design on the back. It also features a MagSafe ring stand, which is really unique unlike the other cases. With this type of stand, you can place it horizontally to watch anything on your iPhone in landscape mode, but you can't place your iPhone vertically with it. However, it's still a pretty neat feature that can be useful. As for the buttons on this case, they're good, but they are quite small and thin unlike most of these cases. Lastly, the cutouts on it are nice, but unlike the OtterBox that has one cover for the port, the subcase has two. One for the port and one for the ring and silent switch above the volume buttons, which really protects your case from any debris getting into these areas. As for the next case, which is an urban armor gear case, it's the Metropolis LT, which comes in most iPhone 13 and 12 models, as well as for many older iPhones. This particular case comes with Kevlar on the back of it. It's a strong heat resistant fabric, but it's only featured on the iPhone 13 models. As for the iPhone 12 models, it has a leather back. Now for the rest of the case, it has a soft TPU plastic exterior and comes with padded corner protection that stick out from the case. It also features MagSafe compatibility and the buttons on it are fantastic with great travel when pressed. In my opinion, they were the second best buttons on any case in this review. They are big and wide and protrude out slightly. As for the cutouts on it, the port and speakers are good and the ring and silent switch cutout is nice and big for easy access. As for the last case, which is the Case Defy Bounce, this interesting case is only available for the iPhone 13 models and comes in one color option. It features big bumpers for each corner on each side to protect it if your iPhone were to drop from quite the distance. It also packs a back plate in the case for added protection and has MagSafe compatibility with a magnetic ring on the back of it. Moreover, it's made out of recycled PC plastic and offers a nice shiny glitter type of look to it. As for the buttons, they are slim and good to the touch with a decent amount of travel. The cutouts for this case are good all around for the speakers and the ring and silent switch. They are fairly the same like on most of these cases. Now, when going over the grip on all of them, there were several that had great grips, including the Ghost Tech, Rock Form, and Subcase in that order. Since the Ghost Tech Atomic Slim offers a nice grip on both sides of it, and the Rock Form case offered nice textured carbon fiber for a good grip. As for the Subcase, it has an embedded pattern design on the sides for a decent grip. As for the worst ones in my opinion, they were the OtterBox, Urban Armor Gear, and the Case Defy case, since they really didn't offer any grip on the sides. Personally, I thought the Case Defy's bounce had the worst grip overall since the corner bumpers outside of the case were in the way of my grip. I tend to hold my iPhone near the bottom right corner so it dug into the bottom part of my palm. 
However, not everyone grips their iPhone the same way, so it could depend on you. But overall, Case Defy's case felt the most uncomfortable because I was not used to these corner bumpers. And UAG's Metropolis LT felt really slick on the sides, but the Kevlar back provided some grip when holding it. As for the overall fit of these cases, the best and easiest fit when putting the case on or taking it off was the Metropolis LT, Case Defy Bounce, and Ghost Tech Atomic Slim in that particular order. However, the worst ones were the OtterBox Defender, Subcase, and the Rockform Rugged Case, as they were hands down the most difficult to put on or take off. The OtterBox and Subcase have a two-part process when putting it on your iPhone, while the Rockform Rugged Case had a really tight fit on the sides of the frame, which made it challenging usually when taking it off but that most likely may mean it offers better protection with this type of fit. Now, for the most part, each and every one of these cases offered a solid amount of protection to a great extent, but not every case is the same. From my tests and in-depth review, the most rugged cases were in this following order from most protective to least protective, in my opinion. Even though these brands state that they meet military-grade drop test standards, there are some that do seem to have some flaws in fully protecting your iPhone from drops. However, the OtterBox Defender XT by far is the most rugged case in this review in terms of protection and durability. It offers no flex at all when bending it and provides the best lip protection for the front of the phone and camera compared to the rest of the cases and definitely offers a good amount of thickness near the edges of the iPhone unlike the others. After this case, I'd say the subcase came in second with almost the same features as the OtterBox XT, but a slightly softer case on the back edges. As for the Ghost Tech and Case Defy, they came up slightly after with the Ghost Tech case offering more interior protection and no flex near the lip of the case, and great camera protection, while the Case Defy offered really good exterior bumpers and a decent lip for the front and camera. Afterwards, the rock form came in next with great protection overall, but a good amount of flex near the front of the case next to the buttons, while the UAG Metropolis LT seemed like a regular silicone case with a little more thickness and protection near the bumpers, but a lot of flex when bending it or when testing out the edges. With this case, I would be worried if it withstood its military-grade 16-foot drop that it stands by, especially if it fell with the screen facing down. However, when it comes down to more protection, the cases will definitely pack more weight when combined with the iPhone. And here were all the weights on them from the heaviest to the lightest case in this whole review to give you a good idea if that's a factor in which one you'd want to get. Now, knowing that all these cases aren't on the lighter side, the MagSafe accessory tests that I performed on them showed that they have good magnetic rings on the back of the cases. After all these tests, I could tell which ones were stronger and weaker. When performing the light shake test with my MagSafe wallet on these cases, it held on great for all of them and didn't shift out of place, but when testing out the power banks, the Momax Q-Mag did shift out of place and fell a good amount on all these cases. But when you design a type of power bank with a clear tempered glass on the part that attaches to the case, it clearly creates a slippery surface and slides out of place easily. Unfortunately, Momax decided to focus on the design and looks and not on the practical use of it firmly staying in place magnetically on the back of a case. But it still gets the job done in terms of charging your iPhone. As for the Apple battery pack, which isn't designed like the Momax power bank, it held on great for almost all the cases. The only ones where it did tend to move out of place were the Case Defy Bounce and OtterBox Defender, as well as the Rockform case at times with my shake test. The one downside though I found with all the magnetic power banks is that the Ghost Tech didn't design their case well to fit the Momax and Apple battery pack flush to the back of the case since it was sticking out over the frame and camera lip. However, it still had great magnetic strength to keep MagSafe accessories in place. Now, when placing the MagSafe puck charger on all of them, the OtterBox and the Urban Armor gear case along with the subcase at times made the puck move more easily than the other cases. As for the Case Defy Bounce, it moved slightly, but the Ghost Tech Atomic Slim and Rock Form were the hardest of the bunch to move the puck around. After going through all of that, to me the Ghost Tech seemed to have the strongest magnetic ring on the back, along with the Rock Form, but personally, I thought it slightly edged it out. However, after going over the average Gauss meter readings, the Rock Form case surprisingly edged out the Ghost Tech as the strongest magnetic case in this review. 
and the reason is because the two circular magnets had higher magnetic strength, which provided higher values when measuring them, but when solely comparing the magnetic rings on both, the Ghost Tech had a stronger magnetic ring compared to the Rockform case. As for the OtterBox Defender XT, it had the weakest magnetic ring on the back of it, and it was obvious from the MagSafe accessory test that this was the weakest magnetic case. In the end, after reviewing all of these cases, there are clearly a lot of differences between them. Not all of them will offer the most rugged protection or the strongest MagSafe magnet on the back. But from my review and comparison of these cases, the OtterBox was the most protective. While the Ghost Tech and Rockform offered similar protection compared to the OtterBox, these two, however, contain the strongest magnets out of all the cases. Now, while the subcase was rugged as well, it offered more unique features, just like the Case Defy Bounce. While the UAG Metropolis LT was the slimmest and lightest one with the least amount of full protection, in my opinion, compared to the other cases in this whole review. So, after watching this in-depth assessment of me talking about all these rugged cases, I hope I was able to help you out in determining which one to get. By the way, feel free to check the comment section down below if you're interested in these cases, as I'll be updating it once the iPhone 14 drops to let you know if they will be available for it. If you like this review, please smash that like and subscribe button for more content like this, and I hope to see you all back here for the next video.